Hey everyone, it's Jess Ree here doing a memory plan with me in my classic planner. Um, this is something new I just started um, because I just purchased the big memory planner. I was like, what am I going to do with my classic? Because I originally got the classic and it was a little bit too big for me to plan. So I decided we're going to make this my work memory planner. I take a lot of pictures for work. It's really hard to store them within my own memory planner. So I'm going to do its own planner. And that way, it's something I can do for work, bring it with me, show the things I got. So I kind of got this idea um, from someone's YouTube about the calendar page. So, I mean, if you're doing memory planning and you're putting pictures in on what you did in the week, I was like, what do you do with this? Unless it's just decorate it and um, put some different things, um, important dates and things like that. But I wanted to do something different with the actual calendar piece. So, of course, we have July. I've taken quite a bit of pictures for work, um, lots of different things. So... Um, for my work, I do trainings, um, so new hire trainings, leader trainings, um, and so we have a lot of pictures. So this is what I came up with, and I thought it looks pretty sweet. So what I've done is I printed out pictures, and I cut them out to fit into each of these calendar boxes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I did this and um, what tools I used to achieve this. Um, but I thought it, it looked pretty good and I'm still printing some more, but I'm going to show you pretty much what we're going to do or what my idea is. So every day I'm going to put a different picture and then of course on the sidebar, I'll probably put notations on what was going on that this month and little stickers to kind of represent the day and things like that. So that's what I have there. I did also cut out a picture, a group picture. Since there's no dates at the bottom of this part, I could put a whole um, group picture down there like that. But I'm gonna show you what I use. So I use the Happy Planner Classic Punch to kind of get the sizing right on the pictures. So what I did was I used an app called Photo Grid on my Android device and I kind of picked out four pictures to kind of put together. And then what I do here is once I cut them out into um, the squares, I use the little punch to kind of punch out um, the actual size um, for width. But for the actual height of the picture, I actually made myself a template, which I can't find right now. Oh, there it is. So I made a template so that I can cut the corner piece and the top pieces where I need it to be in the picture. Um, some of the pictures get cut off. I mean, you kind of get the gist of where, you, you know, where you're going to put the template, things like that. So let's get started with this and I'll show you how I am going to punch these and um, how it's going to work with the actual classic punch. So... Let's get started. Ugh, sorry for the camera movement there. I hit the little thing. And of course it doesn't want to start mo stop moving. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the pictures out because I printed them on four by six photo paper. So my last printer, every time I bought a ink on the new set of inks it came with a stack of photo paper so I have all this photo paper that I barely use so now that I got my new printer it is doing an outstanding job doing prints um, I'm actually really low on ink so I'm really surprised that these um, pictures have come out the way they did um, and my last printer every time I touched a printer the ink would come off the photo paper so I'm really liking this printer. Um, it's an HP printer and I pretty much got it because the ink can, I signed up for their Insta ink, which it melds you ink whenever you're running low. So I already have ink coming to me. It's just, I decided to do a lot of projects. So as you can see here, when I stick the picture in, it's gonna cut off part of her face on the left. So what I've noticed, I just take scissors, and I'm not gonna need this dead space over here. So I'm just gonna cut off 
most of that part right there. That way I can fit the square uh, or the people into the picture. And see, that kind of makes it better. So what I do is I kind of punch where I kind of want what's in the picture. So you can see that, sorry for the light or the, the shadow there. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch that. So I got me a punch about that size and pretty much who I want in the picture. And then what I could do is, if I can find it again, cause I don't know what I did with it. My template, I'm going to place my template over it and go ahead and cut out the top edge and that corner piece so that we could see the date on the calendar. Ta-da! So that's how I do it. So just use the template um, and cut out. I thought it would be easier to me um, cut out little smaller pictures than do a whole page. So using Photo Grid app and like making it into a collage and then printing it out works out really good. So this one might be a little tricky. So the cool thing is you could use any part of this punch so top or bottom let's see let's do right about here sorry for the glare there you go and then I have my templates which is gonna cut off part of her head, but it's okay. So cool. This one I kind of noticed every time I try to print it, it would cut off really big part of the face. So I moved it over on my grid a little bit more. That way I can center it more into this punch. Yes, perfect. So that's what I was having a problem with when I printed this picture like three times. But I really wanted our faces in there and not have somebody's punched out. So this works out really good. Then of course, use our template. And I think I'll cut off a little bit at the bottom. So you see where I'm going with this. I'm going to speed up, place all these pictures down. Um, so what I got so far and kind of finish up with the pic the stickers that I have. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. just got finished sticking all my pictures down I do use the um, removable adhesive only because if I want to switch out pictures or move them around or something like that I can do so um, I didn't put anything on 4th of July because I kind of wanted to use the sticker for 4th of July um, so I'm gonna go ahead and and this was from the dates and holidays I believe um, happy planner sticker book so put that there, thought it would be cute. And then 
I do want to use one of these um, bo long boxes for the sidebar so I can kind of notate what went on. And then, of course, I'm going to add some little stickers here and there, um, um, like work stickers and things like that. So I'm going to set this down. It's as straight as I can get it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of stickers here and there, and I'll speed that up. And if you want to know why I didn't put any more pictures on, um, my printer just finally gave um, out on ink. So as soon as my ink comes in, I'll be filling in the rest. But it looks really good. I'm excited about this layout. And then I did place the big group picture at the bottom. I do have another group picture I could probably put if I wanted to on the other side um kind of mirror this instead of do individuals on each day so i might do that on the other side as well but looks really good so i'm going to add the little bits um of circle stickers and things like that and then i'll be done with this layout I think I added a little bit of embellishments onto some of the pictures and a little bit of stickers so that um, I don't have to print so much more. But I think it looked out, turned out really good. Once I get my printer, I'm going to print, I mean my ink, I'm going to print out the rest of the pictures and finish this up. But there you go. I just put a few stickers on there and I'll do my, you know, writing in pretty much what happened um, throughout the whole month um, for work. 
All right, thanks for watching. Give this a like and don't forget to subscribe. See y'all later.